Not in a hurry anyway You can feel the endlessness The coming of the light of day We're talking about a chosen place You wanna sell it in a marketplace? Well Welcome to Underbull Recreation Reserve and it's been a great day for the Kangas with the seniors having a hard fought win over Ronvale Euston. Um, great to have Tommy Morris back with four goals on his return and Sam O'Shaughnessy was unreal with his five goals. Andre Perala was very, very impressive with the ruck, uh, battling against three quality ruckmen and uh, Ethan Gill for uh, Ronvale Euston has hurt us greatly in the past so Andre did a great job to nullify his impact. In the midfield, Kane Stevens was again very good and Timmy Gloucester in the defence was uh, hardly beaten all day. The netball had a pretty good day in the seniors. The A grade won 52 goals to 30. Uh, Catherine Brown again continuing her fine season and Deshani Burns just smashes out great defensive game after great defensive game. B grade were down, went down by 30 against the top team with Lauren Grace and Caitlin Vine battling very well for the Kangas. C grade got a win on the board, Emily Birch shot well and the team scored 52 goals compared to Ron Vale's 27 and then C Rez uh, won by 11 goals, Lucy Joyce and Macca Clark playing great games. The 17, uh, under 17's had tight games, both grades going down by two goals so good work girls and uh, good luck next week against Mildura. Hack forward only as far as yeah, good hands over there to balance. Balance gets the first shot of goal on the left foot and he snapped it round, he snapped it truly. Good left of it. Dell chips it in board, nice kick the big fella. Pat Sherry's moving around looking for the hands. Scoops looking for one two, the big fella. Looking to drive it long. Gets a lot of leg on that. And you know it over the back. Great grab. Sam O'Shaughnessy always in the right position there. Use his body beautifully to hold him underneath the ball. He runs straight, kicks straight, well done Sam, good footy. Fresh off two weeks of the Pioneers and um, proving why he's there. Good footy, good footy. Oh, very quick handball by Stevens to Willsmore. Good footy and a very well weighted kick. Gives Perry the opportunity to hold his feet and kick a goal and he has done. Good work by Perry to hold his body there. Footy on it, hold your feet young fella. Oh, good tackle. Which way? Which way is he going to go? The tackler or the fend off? He took 450. That's 50. So the fend off was too high. Got time. Chips it sideways. That's a good kick to position. Oh, great grab too. That is a great grab. Well done there. Sam Mead. What do you do? Do you go around the corner or you're yes, going to. Yeah. He's been practicing it. Yeah. Looks like he has. He Didn't has. even look like missing that. Straight through the middle. There you go. Nice work. Toss, Jamal picks oh, up, spins, twists and turns. The ankles don't break when they're doing that sort of stuff. And that's a great kick in the finish, beautifully weighted. And Soss will have his opportunity to line up for his second. Yeah, he think we'll get thrown up again, only just over the two heads. And Wolves forward, forward. Daly Good little it. tap on, as far as balance. Can't quite sit from the quick handball. Heater gets a quick curry kick. Good advantage of Morris with leg speed, turns around, gets on that right, oh, beautifully balanced, has a crack at goal, and Soss is leading this, but going through anyway, <laughs> Morris has kicked up from outside 50, great leg by Tittles and he kicked two in a row, and it gets tapped by no one in particular, ball comes down, it's just a bit of a oh, good work, good. Keynes was actually thrown ahead of the ball there, he's kicked it over top to Morris, Morris gets an opportunity to, for it to bounce up, Charles and he does. Left. Gets a handball forward as far as Munro, not quite clean, too high, gets a handball out. Now to get a quick handball to 
Brown. Brown's generally a beautiful kick of the footy. Oh, he made Tommy work for it, but nevertheless has hit a target. The great thing when Simon Brown's got the footy is just as good on his left as he is on his right, and it just provides him so many opportunities. And yeah, he doesn't miss many targets. That opportunity is now Tom Morris's opportunity. 40 metres out, he's got his brother presenting, and I don't think he even batted an eye towards him. No, he's a backman, why would you kick it in? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, last time we played in this competition, won the league medal for goal kicking. And that's why, and that's why. Great goal, well, Tommy, that's his third. He's just pops up at the right time for the Kangas, have extended the lead now out beyond 30 points. So I can't remember what the end of season awards are, but if it was the most improved player, these two would be going head and head for it. Um, both played fantastic games today. Timmy G in the fence was hardly beaten, and uh, Heath Smith has just been a bull inside all year. Um, so Tim, how did you see the game from the back line today? Yeah, we went alright in the back line, but um, our midfield was stand out this year. They, you know, even if we don't win the ruck, we're still roving off their ruckmen, which. Uh, you know, as backmen, we don't have to worry about too much, so, yeah, no, it's good. So today, you leader of defence without a few key players, and you had to play against taller players like uh, Calvert and Ethan Gill. How do you play so well as an undersized defender? Yeah, well, just play off them. Don't really have a choice. I'm not, not very strong or anything, so I just play off them and do my best, which, uh, yeah, they didn't judge it too well today, so that, yeah, made a difference. So, talking to you over last weekend, you've fan of watching Boomers telecast and the other people who do a job on Dartfish. What have you noticed from watching those replays? Yeah, I sort of just, uh, you know, have a quick look the night before to see who I'm matching up on and try and see how they play the game, which, you know, sort of adjust myself and, yeah, sort of fine. A very studious player is Tim Gloster. Um, Heath, how was the midfield battle today? Yeah, really good. Uh, pretty even to start, but I reckon we got on top in... Uh, most quarters, I reckon, yeah, with Kane and Dallas switching through, fresh legs, yeah, really read the Ruckman, it was good, yeah. So how, what have you done to your game this season to go from a, a good player to a really quality midfielder this year for the Kangas? Uh, I had a good good pre-season, did all pre-season, and uh, like learnt off the likes of Dallas and Kane and really like helped during the year, during the games, and that sort of thing, yeah. No, well, Tate, well played today, boys, and keep up the good work for the rest of the season. Thank you, Benny. So the under-18s had a great win today against Ronvale Houston. Um, it was cl close at the start of the game, and they ran away with a massive last quarter and ended up winning by over 100 points. Uh, Isaac Scott was one of the better players today. Isaac, how'd the game pan out? Yeah, look, we thought we were going to go out there and get rolled. They're top of the ladder, and they're pretty big bodies, but we ended up just cracking in and having a good win. So, yeah. Who were the major goal kickers today? Because they got a fair old score on the board. Uh, Sam Ag, obviously, real big body, come back from Adelaide this weekend. Uh, Billy Katnack kicked four odd. Dusty kicked a couple, Jack kicked a couple, and I kicked two. So, it was shared around a fair bit. Very good. It's good to see the boys get amongst the goals and have had a bit of a tough season. Um, so, Ben, who uh, under-18 coach for the fourth year? Yep. Um, who has impressed you most this year? Uh, they're all impressive, all across the ground. Um, probably those those medium blokes, because obviously having uh, Joel and Sauce have rolled up into the seniors, so the boys that are coming underneath them, they're, they're impressing, like your Ado and, and your Jaunty and your Will, boys that were... Probably your, your fringe players have, have really stepped up um, this last couple of weeks. So, yeah, they've been, yeah, the best ones. Pre-season, you put the challenge to your players to come to the senior uh, trainings on Tuesdays and Thursdays and obviously more throughout the pre-season. How do you think that's helped them this season? Um, yeah, put that message out straight away. So all the 16s and 18s, because obviously we don't have 16s, we rolled up into pre-season straight away. So. It's good because the game plans that we're trying to put out in the seniors, the boys are producing them in the 18s, so we're pretty much following Griggy with Griggy's game, game plans, so yeah, and, and when those boys do get opportunities in the seniors, they know exactly how it's going to plan out, so. So as a coach, you talk about game plans, what's your key message to your players every week? Key message every week is, is we're looking to switch and create space. Obviously, we're a small body, um, we don't have the numbers that, that these other boys have, so most of our boys are 14, 15 that are playing on 18. So our main message is that we 
we get it wide and we spread and, and we use our advantage with our legs. So most of the boys are pretty quick and if they can get them out in space, then well, exactly what we did to Ron Miley today. So we haven't beat Ron Miley in about four years, I reckon. So yeah, for the boys to go out there, kick it in space and run away from them, it was good to see. So. Congratulations on the win today and great reward for effort and good luck against Mildura next week. Cheers, Ben. Thank you.